it's Libby Bird. I am back with Nancy Drew's Secrets Can Kill Remaster. And okay, so we are. I'm going to start this off really quickly and just get on into it. Uh, let's start asking questions to random people. Not random people. You're not even going to say a thing to me? Thanks. Am I that intimidating? You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this, I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Uh, what? Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. What? What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular, and a good politician too. Just like his father. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Well, that's terrible. Maybe See you that, later. I must go now, Nancy. Sense, I guess. Maybe that makes a lot of sense towards him working at a diner now. Can you give me that money. Okay. Um. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, let's go and see what I can do here. I had to fix the audio because that was kind of a little bit loud. But anyway, I hope I fixed it now. I hope it's not too loud. I apologize if it still is. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Nope. Never need anything. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? Why were you? I gotta go now. Later. Girlfriend, you were interested in him. You were dating him. Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Shush. Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? No. That was horrible. No. You can't make mistakes. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. I think the pressure's getting to me. <laughs> a little. No. What pressure? What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Yeah, but you dated the bully that's dead now. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's Hulk Tanaka. I don't know what this is. Don't, don't even know. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm um, sorry. Is this find them? Or, what? And discover 
another crime? Another cr crime? <laughs> okay, crime. Um, then answer. The answer is in black and white. To who will do the time? Wait, I, I, don't, I don't know. Something, something, something dark side. How's it going? Not going good. Hi. Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, oh. last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. Hmm. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. Why not? Hmm, not exactly sure. You said she was having a tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Ooh, that's crazy. Um, you know what? It's typical high school ru rumor drama crap. Like, seriously. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before, and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. Goodbye. Bye, Nancy. Well, that seemed to be a little bit fishy. Let's go back into the creepy library. Like, seriously, this is the creepiest place ever. Like, the music, I can't even. Ooh. So creepy, guys. I swear, it's so creepy. Like, that music's gonna start, and I'm gonna be like, somebody out here killing me. I swear to God. Guys, like this is just really freaking creepy. <clears throat> Under my C reference, evidence like like go. Like where is this? Like under my seat. Ah ha ha! What? What was it? I don't know. 
He's hiding all this kind of crazy stuff. Like, who, what kid has like a, a, a box that looks like that? Like, Ooh. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Were you the one that like casually like snuck in there and got the alarm turned on and like freaked me out so much? What can I do for you? Do you know Connie Watson? Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Seriously? Thanks for the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. That's cool. I'm just saying, not playing. Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once, but I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to talk to me about work. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? Oh crap, what do I choose? Oh god, which one do I choose, guys? I'm writing an article about the murder for the school newspaper. Oh. I have no idea. What else can I do for you? Do you know why Connie broke your date to the Sadie Hawkins dance? No, it was really weird. But what was even weirder is that she took Jake instead of me. Like I said, she's mysterious. What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Bad. Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. Evidently, like, for reals. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football muscles. scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. He doesn't have that big of a muscles. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring, but it'll look good on my college application. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? My dad is working really hard to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures like you gloating over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? Sheesh. Didn't I hear that you found Jake's body? Yeah, I, I did. The student council president gets keys to the school. We had an early morning council meeting and... I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. And I really don't want to think about it right now. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. So let's go talk to, you know, like, weirdo, creepy guy. Good recovery on Daryl's question about Jake's locker. Thanks, Uncle Steve. But reporter for school newspaper? It's not that great of a cover. I had to think on my feet. I think you should know that I got a threatening phone call from someone named Mitch Dillon. Interesting. Mitch is a suspect we're looking into, and he probably caught wind that you're snooping around. But I wouldn't pay him much attention. If he does anything else, let me know, and we'll take care of him. How is he involved? You don't need to know at this time. Just concentrate on the students and finding Jake's journal. We have Mitch covered. When the police looked through Jake's locker, did they take a videotape? No. We didn't. You're thinking there's something important on that tape. Important enough that Jake hid it. Something like that. Good lead. Find that videotape, Nancy. I found a notepad in the library that seems like a message from Jake. Really? Tell me more. It says, things to remember me, and seems to give clues about the answer to my fate lies in a box. This is the best lead we've had. I think it could break the case. Follow whatever directions he gave to find this box. His journal could be in there. Excellent work, Nancy Drew. But remember, you need to keep a low profile and be careful. Bye, Uncle Steve. See you later. I don't know. It's just a little bit... I don't know. That just seems a little bit weird. Let's go in the creepy library and do some research in this creepy library. What's the word again?
Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. What a dork! Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. See you later. Bye, Nancy. <laughs> I like how there's only like three students here. Like, I'm the third. I'm not into pushy oh, girls. Do me a favor and bother someone else. I remember when this was in the old uh, original game and he was like, I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor, bother someone else. And I'm like, goodbye. Bye. I'm not into pushy guys, but like, I need to ask you questions. So, chill out, please. We are currently not seeking any new initiates at this time. We will seek you if you are worthy. What are you seeking? Did I check them all? Did, did, did I check them all? Let's see if I checked all the posters. Did that? I did. Where can I do the research on it? I mean, I do have the library, but like, seriously? I don't want to go back in there. I don't. I don't want to go back in there. Hmm. That medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Hmm. Wait. Now I did the research. So I just had to like look at different books. I like how it popped out a little bit. For me. I was like, yeah. Creepy music. I swear if Aaron s scares me, I'm literally like going to punch him right in the face. Like y'all are gonna witness me hitting my fiance in the face. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Don't be embarrassed. See you later. Farewell, Nancy. Everybody's cheated in their life. I'm not saying do it, I'm just saying don't listen to me. Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. You're covering up something. Hey, Nancy, need something? No. See you later. Bye. Actually, I need, yes, I need the truth. <sighs> okay, so like, I'm trying to figure out what else to do. Hey, gorgeous. Glad you stopped by. He's just a little bit creepy, doesn't he? And like his eyebrows look really creepy. Like, I'm sorry, but you're not that handsome. What's the word on the street? Well, your uncle isn't here if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. How so? He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. See you later. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. It was on the counter when I got back from break. Bye, Nancy. Hi. Not talking to anybody, you know, like, just casually talking to, like, my imaginary friend Bob. I mean, hi, what's up? So I need to go to the maintenance room. Creepy message telling me to go somewhere. I mean, I'm going to do it, all right? FML. I know this is a bad idea. Okay, like, like seriously bad. You know what? Screw that. Like, cut the bowls on. Um. Too hot. How about now? I did it. And I put it like super. 
super duper focused. sketchy guys just gonna let y'all know that Nancy you look terrible what happened to you are you okay it was nothing let's just say I ran into an old flame well, suit yourself how are things otherwise Daryl mentioned that you had lost something last week yes I lost my wallet. A lot of my undercover contact information is in the wallet, including yours. You can imagine what would happen if that information fell into the wrong hands. Did you ever find it? It was in my hotel room all along. I think I was drinking too much coffee. It's starting to affect my mind. Bye, Uncle Steve. Be careful. Then stop drinking all the, the coffee. Like, it's that easy. So, how'd your date go with the mysterious note-leaving guy? Let's just say he almost took my breath away. Good, so I'm still in the running for you. Does his, like, eyes go, like, crossway or, like, wonky whenever he looks at me? Like, I'm pretty sure I just saw it do that, like, chameleon style. Daryl, I'm not interested. Okay, okay, I get the picture. See you later. See ya. Something to make this work. That's insane. Okay. Well, guys. Um, let's go talk to Connie now. Hey, Nancy. Need something? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. Did you kill Jake to stop him from blackmailing you? Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't kill Jake. Jake was threatening to expose you, maybe even make you lose your black belt, and he forced you to break your date with Daryl. Life would have been so easy with him out of the way. I didn't kill Jake. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Bye. I don't know. I'm... Um... Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Hi. See ya! <laughs> I must go now, Nancy. I must go, you mean? You're still gonna be sitting there, you know, as soon as I, like, you know... You're still gonna be sitting there. You're still sitting I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor and bother someone else. Well, I mean, you know, like, I'm not into pushy guys, but I still handle Daryl all, you know, like... Jake knew you broke into the drug station. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah, he found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. It would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. So what'd you do? What did he want from you? You name it. Chauffeur, errand boy, bodyguard. He loved ordering me around like I was his slave. Why did you steal the steroids? I got hurt really bad in a game a few weeks back. Broke four ribs and cracked two others. Mm. I had to keep playing even though I was hurt. I needed to impress the scouts. Then I started taking steroids. 
It wasn't worth it because I was still in pain, and all my free time was spent playing Errand Boy for Jake. Errand Boy? The last thing Jake had me do was deliver a note to Daryl Gray. It was in a sealed envelope, so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl. Did you kill Jake? I'm not a killer, Nancy. I didn't do it. I'll talk to you later. Later. I'm that way. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to stop the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you can like me on Facebook at facebook.com slash LibbyBirds with an S. You can also add me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Hopefully the next episode is the last one. We'll see how it goes. But thank you all so much for watching. And bye-bye.